Good morning, 302. I'm Miss Cochran. And I'm Anna Amelia Pearson. And welcome to another episode of the 302 Book Club. Isla, what book are we reading today? Today, we're going to, we're going to read something really funny. Today, the crown's quit. It's crown's talking. It's, you can't see? You don't, you can't see? Okay, let me see. Look at the book. The, 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 can I go over here? Okay, sit on your bottom. Okay. The, the cool thing about this book is that the crayons write letters. So we're going to practice writing letters in our lessons along with this book. So we'll introduce a letter through reading the book. I, and then uh, I the, want us to paper. try to write letters to each other. Uh, I'll get a piece of paper. Not right now. Let's read the book first. Okay. The, the Day the Crayons Quit. It is written by Drew DeWalt and the pictures by Oliver Jeffers. The day the crayons quit. The day the crayons quit. The day the crayons quit. Okay. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. To Duncan. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that is red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your friend, Red Crayon. Can I see the names? Yeah. What does it say? Do you you see? It says, your overworked friend. Red crayon. Cool. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayons from grapes, dragons, wizards, wizards hats, but it makes me crazy that there's so much of my gorgeous color that gets outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, dot, 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 I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Yeah, of course. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I'm beige and I'm proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, puppies, well, the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend... Brown crayon. Beige crayon. Look at how sad he looks. And there's his piece of wheat. Oh, it beige. It looks like it's dying. Duncan. Great crayon here. You, you're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling all those big thi uh, all those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Okay, there's the baby penguin and the pebbles. I want to see that baby penguin and I want to see how cute he is. Oh, cute. Okay, dear Duncan. You color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you're using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in empty space because uh, bet empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. And over here it says, White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. I got 
even see the white crayon. I know, look at, there's white crayon right there. You can only no, see his I'm, little face. I'm looking for him on this page. Mm, he's not on that page. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in with other colors. All which think that they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you see me, when you use me to draw a nice beach ball, then fill it in with the colors of, colors of the ball, which with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometimes? Is that too much to ask? Your friend. Black crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing you for two reasons. One is to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Coloring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they are driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Green Crayon. Uh oh, let's see what's happening here with these this dispute. Nope. Wait one second. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun in your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and true color of the sun, Yellow crayon. Uh-oh, I think Orange Crayon's going to have something to say about this. He's going to say he's the color of the sun, but it's Orange Crayon. Dear Duncan, I see Yellow Crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we are no longer speaking. We both know that I'm clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, aren't you glad I'm here? <laughs> your pal and the real color of the sun Orange Dear Duncan, it's been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I've really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby. I can't even see over the railing in the cram box anymore. I heard, I'm oh, sorry, I need a break. Your very stubby friend. Blue crayon. Look at, there's blue crayon right there. He's so tiny. He's so tiny. We like blue crayon at our house, don't we? Blue is our favorite color. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Duncan. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color her pretty princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color pink dinosaur or a monster or a cowboy. Goodness know that they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey Duncan, it's me Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off the paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. 
How could you like how could you like to how would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend Peach Crayon. Oh, Peach Crayon, he's feeling really upset. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. Can I turn the page? Yeah, turn it. And I'm going to get up close so people can, so they can see it. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for coloring. I like how he used all those different colors. Oops, scooch over. I'm happy, too. I like how he used all of his crowns to color in and by staying in the lines. And a gold star for creativity. Mom, what's this? It looks like it is a crayon that has all the different colors. Now, 302, I'm going to include with this a template, scooch back, sit in your seat, a template of how to write a letter. And then what we will do is we'll send you our address and you can post a letter to Isla and I so that we can post a letter back to you if you want. So we would love for you to write a letter with dear and then a salutation at the end. And if you want, you can put in a fantastic picture for us using your crayons at home. Okay, we'll see you later 302. Thanks for listening.